G'day and welcome to MW Laser, my name's Matthew. In this video I'm going to show you how to install the automatic fire suppression system in your laser machine. Now, if you buy a laser machine from us you can actually request for the fire suppression system to be installed but we've also put together with BlazeCut an application guide so that these systems can be installed on any CO2 laser machine. It's important that you have the size and refer to the guide to the correct size of fire suppression system you need for your machine. Now for this uh, R960, a 900 by 600 cutting area, we've selected the uh, T-Series 300. So that's approximately three meters of uh, tubing here with the fire suppression uh, solution inside that. Now the fire suppression uh, is a um, non-toxic, non-carcinogenic, non-ozone depleting. It doesn't leave any residue on the machine and it's very uh, safe to use. It's installed on the inside lid of your laser cutting machine. Now some of the models also have a pressure valve on those so that it will deactivate your exhaust fan so that the fire retardant doesn't get sucked out and into your exhaust system and it actually is in the machine making a good effect. On the smaller machines and uh, the smaller models, they don't have that uh, valve, but you can select those uh, by contacting us at mwlaser.com.au. So in the box, you get the fire suppression system. You also get some cable ties and uh, some warning labels, as well as an instruction manual. Now these are to be used in conjunction with the application guide that is available on our website. The cable ties are used to mount it and hold the system up in place on some laser machines. In the case of our machines, we're going to be using these little brackets uh, from Blaze Cut and they will uh, go around the tube and we screw those into the lid using some, um, uh, some of the existing bolts or some additional screws and bolts. Okay, so that's the fire suppression system uh, installed. Uh, we've got um, the spacing between any of the mounting points at uh, 250 millimeters or less where we can. If we can't screw into sections where there's uh, no point, we can use the cable ties to suspend it between the uh, part that has been mounted on the side. Very important that when you're installing Prior to installing, make sure that you have enough clearance inside the lid so that it doesn't interfere with any of the motion of the cable uh, chain or the drag belt, as well as the drive belts of the axes. Also very important that no part of the fire suppression system is installed where it can interfere with the laser beam and also not over anything that is constantly at 80 degrees Celsius. And in a laser machine, that's uh, not normally the case because the fire su suppression system will actually activate at 105 degrees Celsius. And just a closer look at the installation, you can see it's been well supported using the uh, cable uh, ties as well as the hose clamps from BlazeCut. We've got our uh, information labels on the front the T-Series fire suppression systems also have the pressure gauge at the end of the tube with the needle in the green showing that it's in good pressure. And if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to contact me at mwlaser.com.au. Until next time, take care. Cheers.